So, oh, can I just start with this? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so number one, I learned that in order to appreciate your privileges, you have to live without them. So before I had my big room and my big bed, um, and then I had to move into India with three other people and share a bed and share a bathroom with eight girls. And I didn't realize how the privilege of having your own room until I faced this like, uh, like no privacy and everything. Same with like electricity. So we would have a lot of power outs and um, you know, sometimes I'll be showering, the lights will go out. You know, so just the fact of having power is such a privilege. And I didn't appreciate it until I faced not having it. Um, second thing, I um, learned that every person is at a different stage in their lives and so they're going to seek different things. So I was used to like everyone in high school is going up to senior year, junior year, they all want to go to college because high school tells you so. But then when I went to Voyage, I was interacting with people who were in different stages in their life, we're not the same age, We some of us have gone to college, some of us have not. And so I have to understand that, okay, some people are here because they want to discover themselves and what they, you know, what they want to do in their lives. Uh, some people are here because they just want to enjoy the, the atmosphere. And so then I have to do some self-reflection and think, what am I here for? Um, third thing, I learned that out of comfort experiences brought in my comfort zone. So I hiked for the first time, and my first hike was a huge hike. So I hiked the um, Himalayas, I don't know the name of the mountain, and I was going to die. I was like, I died on the first like, of the steps. I was like, I can't, I can't do this. But I kept going, and after five hours, I got to this beautiful place. And so now, if anybody wants to go on a hike, I'll be like, let's go. Like After this, I can't do anything. Same with traveling um, to India, so I was super nervous that I was going to go by myself with no parents. And now that I've gone across the world, I can travel anywhere I want by myself. Um, the fourth thing I learned is that money buys just temporary happiness. So while I was in India, I led a fundraiser. Uh, and we were able to raise enough money to give the children food and clothing and uh, blankets and hygiene products. And my response, the response that I got from that was not what I was expecting. So I was expecting more of like, like, thank you, like, I'm so glad you're doing this for us. But instead I got, ma'am, can I have jacket, please? Ma'am, more food, please. Ma'am, you got toys? Ma'am, what? And so, you know, I thought, I thought that I was like going to kind of, I don't know, get more satisfaction from that. But I, it was more like I want more and more and more. Uh, so yeah, I kind of learned that happiness comes from more the things that you can't buy. Uh, so here's this like the comparison: this kid just has stickers, and then this kid is like playing with the toys, and he's like, oh, like, I need more toys because the jaw is not big enough for my Lego head. And then the last thing I learned is that there is a universal language of emotion. So even though we had a huge language barrier where I didn't speak any Hindi and people didn't know enough English to communicate, there is that uh, like connection of emotion where like, you know, you can express happiness, you can express fear, you can express disgust and all these things that don't necessarily have language. So you laugh, ha 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 ha, that doesn't have a language. You can't laugh in Hindi, you can't laugh in English. So I learned that no matter where you go, even if you don't know the language, you can always communicate with your emotions. And that's it. Here's my little baby that I used to take care of and I miss very much. Thank you. If you could pick one favorite memory from India, what would it be? Favorite memory? Um, I would say the time where this little girl that I used to um, do daycare, like I used to work with at the slums, uh, 